Jimmy Tables and Okay, we can call the meeting in order. Rep, you want to say the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Who wants to say the prayer? Go ahead. Perfect. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together today, Lord, and discuss things in the township. Lord, we thank you for this time, and we ask you just to bless our time and allow us to be able to serve this community well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, um, first thing we need is a roll call. Sure. Trustee Rivera. Here. Trustee Claussen? Here. Trustee Shade? Here. Trustee Bonomo? Here. Supervisor Ballage? Here. We have a quorum. And we have public comments. Do we have There's any? no public com comments. Okay. Um, clerk's report? Sure. If I could please get a motion to approve the July 10th, 2023 monthly township board meeting minutes. I'll start the motion. I'll second. I'll take a roll call. Trustee Shake? Yes. Trustee Clausen? Here. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, and I'd like a motion to approve the August 7th, 2023 special board meeting minutes. If motion. Please. Well, I'll start that motion. Second. Okay, take a roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Shea? Yes. Trustee Clausen? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Um, the I wanted to just update everybody. This will be the last update on the parade. Uh, the final expenses and revenue report uh, for 2023 parade. We had a zero dollars in revenue and 46.20.77 uh, in expenses, and that concludes my report. Okay, and uh, do you want to let everybody know that this is the last year we're doing the parade? Yes. Yeah, so um, we did. A petition to have the parade for 2024, same time, same location, kind of a, in combination with Homer Fest, and um, it was not approved by the mayor so of Homer Glen. Twice. So it was rejected. It was rejected by the mayor of Homer Glen. So I just want to let everybody know that um, this will, this was our final parade for Homer Township. Okay, and uh, supervisor report is a motion. To approve Mike Gondak to Special Needs Committee and the Land Use Committee. Need a motion? I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. And I'll take a roll call. Trustee Shake? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Clausen? Yes. And Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Motion passes. And I need a motion to allow the supervisor to approve all bid work for Founders Cross and CBGD. Uh, that's a grant, including bid posting and bid opening, and to accept the lowest and most reasonable bid for work to be performed. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, I will take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Shade? Yes. Trustee Clausen? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Okay, motion to approve selling the John Deere riding lawn mowers to purchase uh, two. We're going to sell two. Sell two. Sell two of them. Oh, here. Okay. Motion to approve selling two John Deere riding lawn mowers and to purchase one. Uh, what the hell is Toro. that? Toro. Toro, Toro. Right. Toro lawnmower. Okay. And they need, they use the, to the Toros are better than the other ones and we will make money on that deal. I'll second. I'll second. Okay. And I'll take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Klassen? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Shea? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Okay. Um, then I'm going to, uh, this is a, be like a proclamation. Uh, the state of Illinois has recognized the month of October as Italian Heritage Month. This is a symbol of respect to Italians in the state of Illinois for all the extraordinary contributions of those Italian 
of Italian descent over the years to every aspect of life and culture. Columbus is a symbol of the greatness of the, of the, achieves, the achievements by so many Italians coming after him. As the first president of the Will County Italian American Association, I would like to, to ask the board to join me in a round of applause in honor of this historic occasion celebrating the month of October as Italian Heritage Month. Thank you guys, and it's a big deal. As the governor uh, finally signed it, it's been going on and on for a long time. Okay, before we go do the Highway Commissioner's report, uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody knows we had a special meeting uh, last Monday, and we voted to have the Walter property, which was never zoned open space ever. It was zoned E1, that means the state houses. And uh, we asked the village of Homer Glen to rezone it to open space with a permitted right of farming because uh, Farming is not a, a permitted right on open space. So uh, that's going to go through the Planning Commission. And uh, I talked with the village, with Melissa King, and she doesn't think there'll be a problem. But it's like anything else, she doesn't know. But uh, that's what we'll have. We'll have a permitted use. Because I told them, if we can't have farming as a permitted use, we're not going to uh, do it. So. Right now, that's where it's at. And then, uh, Brent, you going to do the Highway Commission report? I got a lot to cover here. Brace yourselves, okay? There's a number of things I got to talk about. Uh, so, Trantina Farm, I got to update. So, I was asked by uh, Trustee Jen Consolino to go to the last Wednesday's. Um, talk louder. Uh, talk louder. I'll talk how much? I don't have a mic, so it's a tough, tough, tough. So anyways, I was invited to the uh, city council meeting last Wednesday for Homer Glen by Trustee Consolino to give the Trantina Farm update. And so when she was doing her report, I was asked to approach the microphone and give my update. Because Homer Township owns the land. Homer Township, I'm the project manager for Homer Township for the, for the report, and I would be the best one to talk about it. So. What she did was she, her and the attorney for Homer Glenn told me they didn't need me to uh, speak. It wasn't allowed during a trustee report, and they told me to sit down. And I was thinking, okay, well, I went and I sat down. Even though I know in the past there's always been people talking during trustee reports that were invited to speak. So I was confused, but I didn't argue. I sat down. So then I went and I, I waited an hour and a half for the old business to come up because then trustee Consolino told me she would bring it up then. She brought it up again and the mayor once again told me to sit down and instead she asked the village engineer for an update. So the village engineer for Homer Glen only has involvement on this project through the permit process and that's it. He has no inside knowledge of what's going on with the planning of Trantina or the next steps for the development or anything. So I was very confused by that so what I'm doing tonight is, on behalf of Homer Township and the residents from Homer Glen, the residents of Lockport, let's not forget 40% of Lockport is in Homer Township. You got residents of New Lenox in Homer Township, you got residents of Lamont in Homer Township, and you have all the unincorporated people in Homer Township that live here that are not in any municipal limits. So this affects everybody. So for, so for Homer Glen to to try to derail this project, it's, you know, this is something that's negative for everybody in the township. And I think, you know, this is my opinion, people were spreading lies over the last two and a half months. This was at the village board meeting on social media about the clay somehow was contaminated and it should not be placed over at Trantina Farms. And I have been telling the new trustees in Homer Glen and the mayor of Homer Glen for the last 10 weeks about this project and how there's no contaminated soils, how testing was done at the source of the clay and there was nothing wrong with it. Testing has been done in the field during the delivery of the clay. 
testing is going to be done on site before the Civic Center is built. So all of the bases have been covered, yet they're still saying they think there's contaminated soil and it's not clean clay and all these other things. So they even went to the point, this is a trustee Stylin did this, she contacted the EPA and told them that she thought it was contaminated soil and that, that they need to look into it. So when they look into something, it triggers permits when you disturb more than an acre of land. Okay, so from my measurements and the contractor's measurements, we were under an acre still. So we kept bringing clay in. And they came out and they did their measurement and they came over, over, over a little over an acre. So they said, well, you know, I'm like, there's a margin of error and you're out there measuring with a wheel, irregular shapes. So it's not an exact science. So anyways, I told the guy, you know what, I'll just file for the permits and we'll lose the rest of the clay that was coming. So for the next six weeks after I filed the permit, we, we can't bring any more clay in and it's costing the taxpayers a lot of money, tens of thousands of dollars because of this permit trigger. Now, if nobody would have called the EPA, I had documentation, it was under an acre and we didn't need a permit and everything would have been going just fine. But it got all screwed up because of that. So the taxpayers, you can go and thank uh, Trustee Stylin and everybody else that was spreading rumors about this stuff. So I got a state spec book here. This controls what clay has to be delivered to the site and what's accepted as suitable fill. There's also a soil uh, classification system. It's called the United Soil Classification System that you have to follow when you take clay to a site. Okay, and those control how you categorize clay and to say if it's clay that's suitable for fill. So what Trustee Stylin said at the last meeting was, oh, it's silty clay and all this other stuff. Yes, it's silty clay as part of the clay family that's in the classification system. She doesn't know anything about compressive strengths of soils or how they're collected or how they're placed or the properties that have to go into it according to this book. Yet she thinks she's a professional engineer and everybody else that's spreading these rumors. So uh, Brett Westcott is a, is a professional engineer and he's schooled in this stuff. And I am obviously, for 35 years I've been doing this, yet they still questioned it. Now, I, I asked the public, do you see these trustees going to all the other development sites in Homer Glen and asking their, their contractors if the fill they're bringing in is clean? I highly doubt it. I know that's not happening. So this is something about the township that they don't like. But anyways, I'm going to get off of my soapbox. But the update on Trantina is we brought in over 2,000 cubic yards, free, the contractor is actually paying us for over 170 loads at $10 a load, plus the contractor put in silt fence, plus the contractor did topsoil stripping for us. That was free. He also graded the site, and he seeded the topsoil stockpile. That's all stuff we got for nothing. And there was another two or 3,000 cubic yards that we could have got, but it got screwed up. So if you're looking at how much money this is costing the township, Taxpayers, it's probably over $100,000 if you quantify everything according to bid tabs I've seen early in the year. So, but we're in good shape now. We filed for the permits and the site is graded flat. Everything looks great out there. And now what we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to file another permit after the site plan is developed for Trantina that we're going to have in public comment over the next couple of months. And I'm going to adjust the limits and we're going to get as much clay fill as we can to satisfy the site development cost of the community center, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I've already saved taxpayers about 100000 I want to save another 100000 That's what I'm about and that's what the township is about, is saving taxpayers money. Um, even though there's people trying to derail the process, we're fighting through it and, and I'm... I'm the guy that's fighting for you, so if you have questions, please ask me about Trantina. Don't ask anyone in Homer Glen, unless it's the village engineer. But I'm the project manager for it, so you should be asking me in my office. And my cell phone number and my office number are on the Homer Highway site. So please, if you want to know answers to things, talk to me. Don't talk to anybody else, okay? That's it on Trantina. Uh, item B, Smith Road. We have a... Bridge we're replacing in uh, the north end of Lockport, 
20% of it will be paid by a joint agreement between Lockport Township um, Road District, the Homer Township Road District, and the City of Lockport. The Phase One engineering is supposed to be starting this summer. The bridge replacement is going to probably take three years because you've got to go through all of the phases with IDI. But the good thing is we're only paying 20% of the cost for the new bridge. Um, item C, the 2023 roadway paving program. They just finished the paving a couple weeks ago. They're putting in the stone shoulders this week, uh, pending the rain. And then it's going to be striped later on in the week. And the three roads that we did, of course, were Gauger, Meter, and Bruce. Um, item D, the 2023 roadway lighting program. What we're trying to do is standardize all the roadway lighting in the, uh, in the township. And uh, we awarded a bid earlier in the year. They've been ordering materials. There's a long lead time on some of them, so they'll be starting in September, which is next month, and should be done by the end of the season. And next year, we're going to investigate solar lighting for some areas of the township that don't have electric service to try to see if that will work for some dark spots for safety. Uh, item E, the roadway striping program. That has begun. It should be done next month. Item F, the highway commissioner's grant. People might have forgotten about this, but um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the new gentleman on the board here, Mr. Mike Gondak, he helped me with the uh, website. It appears that there was something wrong with the uh, links to the uh, grant so nobody could apply online. Um, so he fixed it. Thank you very much. And now you can go on the Homer Highway site or the Homer Township site and fill in the form online, right? Right. Right online, right and it's submitted online. and. It's a beautiful thing, and if you have questions, my number's on there, you can call me if uh, you can't get through. And again, that's for $5,000 for a special needs adult over the age of 18 that lives in Homer Township. Uh, item G, the Muslim Uma Cemetery. Um, as you know, they completed the driveway and the roadway for that and the cul-de-sac, but the driveway that they built and the culvert they put in were deficient. I have all kinds of problems with it, so uh, I sent a letter uh, to the owner of the cemetery and I said, you know, we're not going to grant you uh, access until this driveway is fixed. So the permit for heavy equipment entering the site has been blocked from now until the next phase if there is one. And they only have access to get to, to the driveway now to fix it. Basically the culvert was too short, it didn't follow the plans, and the, and the uh, side slopes on the driveway were not safe. So, there's an, but there's other things too that I listed uh, that were deficient. Um, then item H, um, last year's winter wasn't as bad as the previous winter, so we have leftover salt for this year. Um, we do have a blended salt contract for this year uh, with 300, for 300 plus tons. I don't think we're going to use it all, but just to let you know, this was planned for a while back and we're, we're covered for that. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Brent. <coughs> Uh, the assessor is not here and he told me he has no report. Uh, so we move on to trustee reports. Uh, Homer Township uh, Senior Task Force Committee. The other one on item number A should be crossed off because there is no more committee for that. So the uh, B is the uh, Senior Task Force, Mike Bonomo and Cindy Laha. You know, I'd like to talk a little bit about that. So, um, you know, we had obviously last week we had another successful senior bingo at Cross the Glory. Uh, Bob Lewis Pizza over on Bell Road and 153rd uh, brought in the food. It was great. Everyone enjoyed it. And with thanks to Angel and a few others, uh, Cindy, uh, Vicki, Patty, uh, all came out and helped out, volunteering their time to make sure the seniors uh, had a great time and uh, enjoyed themselves. Um, the big deal now is September 16th. We have the Senior Lifestyle Expo that will be at the Hadley Junior High. You'll start seeing signs popping up all over the place within the next, within the next week or so. And we are asking vendors to join us and uh, having booths to be able to present their, um, their goods and services to the seniors of the township. So anybody who knows any businesses in the area or if your business is listening to this, please contact the township. And it's a $50 fee for a booth. And last year we had about 250 people uh, walk through the Senior Expo, so you get that exposure in addition to having exposure on our website, uh, knowing that you're participating in the event. So 
for anybody that wants to join or uh, be part of it, please contact Vicki or Patty or Angel at the Township Office. Thank you. Okay, then we move on to the Special Needs Committee. You have Angel? No report. No report. Brent and uh, Mike, you guys, you already said. Part, well, so. with respect to the special needs, we have the Highway Commissioner's Grant, and we want to reach out to as many different organizations in Homer Township to spread the word, especially the Ability Awareness Committee in Homer Glen. They're aware of this. They've known about it for months, and they have never, they have not come to me yet with any applicants. I would think that they would know at least one person. I don't know. But I have mentioned it prior to them, to them a number of times. Maybe we need to reach out to the chairman. Is it still Nicole? Uh, or is no. there a new one? I believe that the mayor is not okay. the chairman. Well, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Well, we need I'm to reach out to them. You know, it's it's been right. Well, we eight, six, seven, eight months. Right at the so at the Homer Fest, they allowed us to put up signs with um, the QR code to take them to the to the page and everything. But the page at the right. time wasn't at working. At the time, right? It might fix. Um, so. But but well, but there was an application on there that you could access and down um, and print at that point because um, Cynthia did make sure that there was an application because you know when you scan it. So it was up there during um, this, the day that the Ability Awareness Committee had their, their beer time. Well, but we need so to reach far out to them. Thing, but I will, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the other, I don't know if Lockport has one. Do they have a special needs committee? I don't think Lockport, but New Lenox, yes. And there are, there's only a little portion of New Lenox that's in our township. We'll also reach out to Keith of uh, the Lincoln Way area that was here before. Mm -hmm. And you I'll might try have people that to, live here that yeah. drive to New Lenox because it's right down the road. Mm -hmm. So right. we need to reach out. We're giving away money that to help people. We got, you know. Well, I, you know what? Now that we have the website fixed, I think if I reach back out to Jewel, the Jewel and Lockport, and the Jewel and Homer, maybe we will get some more responses because before they were obviously having issues with it. So mm -hmm. um, I'll go back in and talk to them. Yeah, then I want to sit down with you and the committee to, to set an outline of when we can have meetings, what our mission statement is, programs that we can offer. You know, we got to look at a budget, what we would have for a budget. I don't know if there was a budget even last year for it. we got to create a budget, see how much money. There's a lot of things that we got to get together on. So this is a brand new committee, so we got some heavy lifting to do. Okay, uh, then we had a land use. Uh, issue and uh, I sent everybody an email and all it was was a garage that uh, somebody wanted to uh, increase the size uh, from I think it was 22 feet to 24 feet or something like that. Everybody got the email, no one responded, so I responded back to the county that we didn't have a problem. So the reason that we have to do it like that is because the county meets and votes on this stuff prior to us having the meeting. So unless we look at it ahead of time, you know, we won't be able to make a comment to a county if we don't like something. And if we don't like something anywhere, you know, that's in our in Homer Township, we can all say we don't like it and then object. You know, put in a legal objection if we want. But I just want to make that clear of why everybody everybody on this board is on that committee. And Rob, uh, do you have a report? A report. And Mike, you got one? Mike Clawson? I gotta watch what I say with mics or something. <laughs> okay, um, then I need a motion to approve all payments of bills for July 2023. Founders Crossing Bond, Founders Crossing General, General Assistance, Open Space, Park Developer Contribution, Park Town, Road and Bridge, and Equipment and Buildings. A motion. Second. Okay, I'll take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Shake. Yes. Trustee Bonomo. Yes. Trustee Clausen. Yes. Trustee Rivera. Yes. Supervisor Ballage. Yeah. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, I got one item in new business that uh, we didn't put on here. Uh, we have uh, been working with um, an engineering firm and I'm the uh, Civic Center, and we got a, a final cost of uh, for engineering and site site development and planning and. It was just way, way too high, you know, for us. So uh, I told the company that we're going to go out to bid to see if we get a better price because they wanted 
over a half a million dollars for it. So uh, I called up our attorney, Mike, and he's uh, putting together a bid packet because it has to be a sealed bid. And there's other rules that has to be because it, it has to do with uh, uh, the federal government because it's uh, ARPA funding. So there's a lot more involved with than it's just like go out and build something. So uh, anyway, we didn't put it on there because I wasn't sure about it until uh, it was too late to put it on the agenda. But just to give everybody an idea. There's no motion or anything. We've already proved doing all that. So rather than go out and waste money, because again, we're not going to raise taxes or we're not going to create any fees to build the Civic Center. It's all going to be done with grant money or donations. So that's why we're doing it like that. So uh, the next thing would be um, we have no executive session and we need a roll call to adjourn. Motion. I'll start the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Any nays? All right. Motion adjourned. Sorry.